Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Eloise and welcome back to Pegwin. In the last episode, we did a Crucible run, the level 5 Crucible. And, uh, well, with a little bit longer episode, since we did the entire run in one episode, um, we got through it. It was actually a pretty cool run. Uh, we had a... We had a build that we did a lot of damage very quickly because of bombs. We had a bomb build, uh, and today we are going to continue the Crucible, and we're going to also continue with the longer episode format for now. Uh, so we have Crucible level 6, enemies and mini bosses have increased health, pegboards contain one less reset, uh, miss navigation damage is increased, pegboards contain one less crit. Many bosses can appear in question marks, and we start with an extra stone, but stones have one less crit. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. So let's just get into this and see what we can get done. So, Suffer the Sling would give us bonus damage to our stones, plus one, plus two. We have an extra stone, that would be pretty good. Um, every reload get grants plus two Mew Circle, or... All attacks get plus one. I think we're gonna go with the sling. Uh, so I don't typically, you know, I usually have enough orbs that I'd never reload. Uh, so that's something that's probably not gonna be too important for us. And I almost always avoid that kind of stuff, just kind of, kind of my playstyle. They do have more health. Um, I think these guys typically have 60 health. So that is just a little bit more health. Um, but let's see what we can do with our powered up stones. We're doing three damage each um, activation, so that's pretty good. And we can hit crits and do even more. Uh, I don't think this is going to be too much of a problem. Uh, these these runs always take a little bit to get going, and especially when our stone gets stuck on a thing. Um... Can we hit the crit? That is the question here. And the answer is no. Um, we did seven damage. That was not very good. And we still didn't hit the crit. Okay, we need to get that reset. Um, or refresh, rather. It's called a refresh, not a reset. Whatever, same, same difference. Um, those guys have 100 health. This is going to be a little bit longer to get through stuff. And I wonder if it's percentage base or like how it does uh the increased health and that is unfortunate but we still we still got rid of him all right so can we hit decent amount of stuff we can um i think what we're gonna do is just gonna hope for the best and maybe this guy will fall out. Oh, we bounced over the crit. So we're going to get stabbed a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and reset again. Refresh. And yeah, this time, unfortunately, I don't have much to talk about uh, while we're trying to get through these fights. Um, yeah, I don't really have much uh, getting ready to go on my trip. Uh, by the time this is uploaded, I'm going to probably be at the airport and then I'll be gone for the weekend and that's about it so it's not too much of a trip but I uh, do need to get the videos done this is the last video I have to record uh, so that's kind of nice I just gotta edit this one and upload everything and schedule it all and all fun stuff uh, but yeah that is gonna be it for that one let's see we can get the bold orb I do like the bold orb uh, Multi-hit is always good. Um, I didn't actually look. Can we look at the map? I didn't actually look to see who is our boss. Uh, it's the mole. So the bold orb is probably going to be the best option. Uh, a crit ball. Every attack is a crit. Converts things to crits. We could have a crit build. And you know what? We could buy both of these. So let's do that. Let's buy both of these guys and continue on. So where do we want to go? Uh, there is a mini boss uh, kind of in the middle, but we definitely want to hang to the left side. So you know what? Let's just kind of go towards the left side. And can we hit that? 
or we can go to the right. Whatever. <laughs> why do I? Why do I try to navigate? Um, doesn't matter. We can we can go back to the left pretty easily. So, ooh, we have options. So, pocket sand. Um, when an enemy attacks you with a melee attack, uh, blind tin. Not bad. Not great. Deal 20 times the number of reloads damage to all enemies when reloading, or more crits. I think we're going to try to get that one. Uh, now the question is, because these things don't really move, can we get it? And we can. Um, we are going to take the special button, and I'd like to go to the left. So let's... Yay! <laughs> it worked out this time. Uh... Alright, so we're going to have to fight the mini-boss, but that's okay. I don't mind. Um, I think it'll be just fine. So we're going to have crit right away. And we can add another crit. So there's three crits on the board. Now what we need is something that's going to give us um, more damage or something for the number of crits on the board. Or, you know, there's the item that when you hit multiple crits, you get more... Uh, damage, whichever, however, doesn't matter. Uh, we could also hit a bomb, and that would be really nice. Or, you know, like five. If we hit two bombs, we win. Now that everything is on the board, which is usually the like way to play this, uh, at least the, the bomb strat, just make sure everything's on the board, and then blow them all up. And I think we can do this. And completely whiff. Alright, well, the Bold Orb should get some bombs. There we go. We win. And that is that fight. Nothing too bad there. Uh, so we have more stones. We could we could do the stone build again. Uh, Swolt Orb. Bully Ball. Gains more health every time we lose... Uh, gains more damage every time we lose health through self-damage. I don't think I want that. Uh, let's upgrade something. I want to see what does this upgrade. So it gets another attack. Doesn't activate crits when hit. Uh, converts the first and every to a crit. Um, so we're basically going to have more crits on the board. You know what? Let's go with that. Let's upgrade that and then continue on. Um, so we want to go to the left. I'm not even going to worry about trying to collect coins. Doesn't matter. We can get money later in the run. We just don't buy things. And it is the Minotaur. So, luckily we do have pretty powerful orbs. Um, it would be even more powerful if we would have hit that crit, but it's okay. Still did 100 damage with just a basic stone. Uh, unfortunately... It's going to be kind of a pain to hit that uh, refresh. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be a pain to hit that refresh. I was, I was worried that we were going to hit it. So we should be able to do something like this. Come on. There we go. And if it bounces to the left... Nope. Okay. So we definitely need to hit the refresh. I think if we... There we go. Bounce it off the wall like that. Um, now we're going to be able to add crits to the board. Uh, we need to do 400 damage if we want to get through this without getting hurt. But that's not going to happen. But if we just skip the bold orb and dag orb, we're going to have quite a bit of damage. And it might be smart to upgrade our Dagor. It might be good to use that as like a primary attacker. But we need to do 53 damage. Um, we're going to get rid of the Bold Orb. It's a little too heavy for this. And we need to hit as many things as possible. But we win. Uh, we did take quite a bit of damage though. So that's unfortunate. Uh, so we can get the Coban Orb. Creates money on every 9 hit, but cannot activate money. Not too bad. Uh, Swarb, just kind of basic. Uh, another critical. Uh, but I think 
We need to spend our money to heal, and we could get more money. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to get more money. And what do we have? Activated refreshes, also grant a crit. More bombs, creates stuff every... We'll do activated refreshes, also crit. And we're going to head to the left. And that worked out pretty nicely. Cool. <laughs> I can't complain about that. Uh, but yeah, I always like to... Let's see if this is a fight before I start talking. It is not. Find yourself looking at two identical altars. Uh, let's duplicate an orb. And let's duplicate... Um... If, if our dagger was higher level, I would duplicate that in a heartbeat. But let's duplicate this one. Why not? Another Kobanor level 1 appears in the matching altar. Scoop it up and continue on our way. Alright, so now that we are presumably going to a fight, we are, um, I can start talking about things. Uh, so I, I never have too much to talk about, but... Uh, I've been playing a lot of video games here lately. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft, uh, modded Minecraft, and specifically a mod pack known as Vault Hunters. Uh, you might have heard of it. There's a lot of people playing it. It's just got a big update um, to a new version, and it's a lot of fun. I, I played the last version of it, uh, quote unquote, Vault Hunters 2 and enjoyed it. I've watched a lot of people playing it, um, both streams and video series, uh, and it's just, it's a fun, uh, it's a fun mod pack, and I've been kind of addicted to it here lately. Also been, uh, I jumped back into another game, which if you've never heard of this one, uh, you should definitely play it, um, but it is called West of Loathing. Uh, there is a sequel to it that is kind of new, um, known as Shadows Overloading, but uh, basically it's a very tongue-in-cheek RPG, and I've been playing through that uh, again, uh, second playthrough, and at some point I'm going to, uh, there's a DLC for West of Loathing that I still need to get, but can we hit this bomb? That'd be nice. Uh, but yeah, so there, there's a lot of games to play, and I am always slow on the uptake of getting new games, but at the same time, I am happy with all the games I have. I have a lot of games on Steam that I have never touched, never played, and I need to change that one of these days. Uh, if I ever get back into streaming, that was one thing I always considered doing is just, let's get rid of that one for now, um, was doing a whole like you know picking a game in my steam library and uh not only just like playing it and beating it but also uh trying to get all the achievements which uh we played th i played through uh we whatever the royal we um we, you know the dag orb but i think for right now let's let's go ahead and upgrade our current dag orb and then we'll move on uh, do we want to do another fight? Yeah, let's let's do another fight. Or we could leave things to Fate's hand. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I did play um, Shovel Knight, and I had the intentions of because that game is, while very fun, very difficult for me because I'm not the best at like the the platformers, uh, and uh, at the very least, a lot of the achievements for that game um, revolve around. Not falling in pits, which is something I'm really bad at. Um, so it was one of those things of like, you know, maybe at some point the ball, the orb's gonna get stuck there. Should reset. There we go. And it should still attack, right? Yes, cool. So we just have Stumpy um, get through this. So every nine, it's gonna create a. There we go. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I always had the intention of going back to Shovel Knight, and I, I still might, um, with the whole purpose of trying to get all the achievements in Steam. Um, I have a ton of games. I also abuse the uh, Epic Games uh, launcher with their weekly and sometimes even more often 
free games. I have never spent a cent on the Epic launcher, but I have a very full library of like a lot of games. Uh, I don't even know how many. Um, I think like probably close to a hundred, if not more. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot of games I, I have available to play. I just never get into half of them. And like one of these, to, one of these days, I'm going to just play something and see what it's like. Um, every coin collected during navigation is worth four or attacks get plus one. You know what? We're going to go with the navigation inflation. That, that is a good name. Um, we really can't do anything here, so we're going to get the uh, chest. We can't open that chest with the bombs, uh, but it's fine. Now we can take cheese or activated refreshes and crits contribute to damage. We're going to do that one. Uh, and this I'm going to leave up to chance. I don't care where we go. Looks like we're going to go take a fight. Maybe? Yes. Uh, but no, one of these years I'm going to play a lot of these games and I will probably not make YouTube videos on them, but maybe if I get back into streaming, stream a lot of them. And I hope that I can at some point in the relative near future. I still need to fix my main desktop graphics card went out on me and that is something I've been putting off way too long. Uh, both, you know, just kind of financially don't really want to Graphic cards aren't cheap, and also deciding which one I want and slash can get for everything else that's in my computer. So, fun fun things that I have to figure out that, <laughs> to be honest, I never actually uh, picked out the parts for my uh, computer in the first place. I just used the exactly... Um, what a friend of mine was using for building his computer so I just basically had the same thing as him and went with it. it worked out nice but I don't know quite what's in it but uh, yeah that'd be kind of cool to be able to stream a lot of those games but that is something for another day splat orb is a good thing reorganizers uh, those can be very powerful as we've seen in the past and warp hammer does have overflow which is nice and is a pretty strong thing um, or we could upgrade let's see his upgrade uh, just more often but much more damage and this it is from eight hit to six I think we have enough uh, so let's upgrade one of these guys and continue on so we can get another chest hopefully relic that is or we're gonna go to the shop thanks thanks game uh that's okay we'll go to the uh the mini boss and see what we can get there but we don't have enough money for any of the relics which is kind of a pain uh that is a level one coven orb which is more expensive interesting uh, I don't really see anything I want, so we're just going to leave and try to get to the mini boss. But navigation in this game is very difficult. And so you never know. But we're about to make it to the boss and get out of the forest. And hopefully this run will pick up a little bit in speed. Uh, not that it's going particularly slow, but... It would be nice uh, to kind of speed run some of the stuff. Uh, but we do have quite a bit of damage there. And the bold orb. We need to hit a crit with this. Uh, we're just going to go this way and see what we can do. Uh, if we can hit a crit, this would be very nice. But we're, we're still going to do 100 damage. I uh, can't complain about that. All right, so let's get more money. And at some point, I mean, this guy is overkilled. We'll get crits with this. Uh, and hopefully we can get through this without too much issue. 
Uh, we can definitely get crits. That is not a problem for this build. But what is is getting through this guy? So, um, yeah, that didn't work out too well. Um, I just want to hit that bomb. That is a dagger. I thought that was the other Coven Orb. Uh, that, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, at least we still killed that guy. Uh, we do get a crit. The question is, 85 damage, not too bad. But this, this one is a lot weaker, this, uh, orb. And it will collect the coins after a while. And there we go. Now we hit the bomb. With just the last one left, of course. Um, ooh, I do like the Mitra Orbska. Uh, we're going to avoid that one this time. Let's try a different build type of thing. Um, and I think I want to upgrade this guy. Heal a little bit. And continue on because we can't do anything else. Popping Corn. Heal one for every 12 activated during battle. That's not bad. Immediately deal one damage to the target every two activated. That's also pretty good. Collected coins contribute to damage. That, I think, is... I think we're going to go for a money build. Um, I think that makes the most sense. We have a lot of things giving us money already, so might as well. It, it can't hurt. <laughs> so, what this pendant means, or I guess it's... Yeah, it is Panglarino's pendant. It's basically... Um, we collect coins, and then it adds another... Uh, another point of damage for everything. So, that's kind of cool. Alright, so we can get plenty of damage. And that's going to get stuck. And Okay. Sometimes they like to destroy the, uh, the, or the uh, thing they're not supposed to be able to, but Uh, that didn't work out too well. You know what would be really nice right now is the other potion that gives you uh, refreshes on crits. Because we have a lot of crit capability, but not much refresh. Uh, <laughs> this is unfortunate. Alright, this is where we need to do a lot of damage. And I really need to hit that refresh. It's not going to be easy. But luckily there is a bomb here. So hopefully we can get through this run. Um, I probably wouldn't, like, avoid this video uh, if we don't get through it. But, alright, let's get the crit and do next to no damage. That's unfortunate. Okay, we really need to hit that refresh. And that's not how you hit the refresh, but we're getting closer to hitting the refresh. 45 damage, we take 10 damage there. And just a little bit damage there. Okay. We just need to go straight for it. Um, there we go. Finally. Now we can hit things, and we can presumably do a lot of damage. Uh, presumably. There is still a lot of questions to that, but it should be a little bit easier. And of course the refresh is all the way down there, in the bottom right. That's just unfortunate. Let's discard this, and let's get a crit, and hopefully do a lot of damage. Um, the dagger is very good dag orb um and we win it, it has done enough damage 350 damage uh plus we, a bomb for good measure and we we, we get through that level <laughs> that was a little nerve-wracking um don't really want any of those let's go ahead and upgrade some stuff um let's upgrade the dag orb and let's upgrade the bold orb 
Uh, more more powerful Bold Orb is going to be better for us. Seal Conviction, no discards. Randomly adds two orbs to your deck and then uh, upgrades four. That could be good. Um, I don't like any of the other ones. Uh, let's go with Haglin Satchel. I like random. We can probably easily see what we're going to have, um, but we're going to continue on, so no point in stopping there. Time for the castle, and we have the wall, of course. I just realized, that, I just remembered, rather, that the uh, enemies and everything should have more health, which is kind of strange to think about, because I haven't really noticed it that much. I guess they have 250 instead of 200. Um, so what did we get? We got an Infern Orb, that is unfortunate, and a Rub Orb. Uh, and it looks like it upgraded our Coban Orbs and our Dagger, maybe. Seems to be. There's a lot of refreshes in the middle. Let's go ahead and hit as many things as possible, apparently. Uh, can we hit a couple of bombs, though? That would be nice. Doesn't matter. We did a lot of damage, but at the same time, not really. Because of the, you know, the shields. I really despise the shields. Uh, so this does self-damage. And I don't like that. So we're going to discard it. And Rub Orb is just extra bouncy. It's going to bounce all over the place. And for the most part, it's not a terribly strong, but also not terribly weak. It is only a level 1, but it bounces. Alright, unfortunately, he still had his shield. Uh, we are going to be able to get rid of this first guy pretty easily, I think. Yes. Uh, what would also be nice is the overflow um, relic, so that all of our attacks have overflow damage. Uh, and unfortunately, our bold orb is the last thing. It did get upgraded, though. Uh, let's put some more crits on the board, I guess. And I kind of want to just try to get... Uh, let's, let's start discarding things, because we need to do more damage. And we need to do a lot of damage quickly. So we're going to just get rid of... Uh, more of these things. And if I would have been a little bit quicker, we're going to rely on the Bold Orb. I don't think it should be too bad. But, okay. Now, can we hit a crit? We can do one better. We can hit the uh, refresh. And 150 damage. Not bad. We can, we can deal with that. Uh, and now we can just hit bombs, I guess. Uh, that should... Should make things a little bit easier. We could just activate a singular bomb. Um, this would be over. So, there we go. It's over now. <laughs> that was not too bad of a fight, but we do need to be kind of mindful. Um, we're not overpowered yet. We can upgrade more things. Um, this still does two self-damage. That's not fun. Extra bouncy. I mean, it does more damage. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait for now, and we're just going to continue. This is all orb nothing, um, and these are kind of basic things. Uh, so that's fine. Where do we want to go? We want to go to the left. Uh, the left has a mini boss and a relic that we can take advantage of and get a lot of stuff, so might as well. That is... Ooh, oh, it's Blood Haglin. Something about, but what do you desire? Please remove an orb. I do not want this. Thank you. Consider it done. Um, took our blood, but we don't have an Inferno Orb anymore. Because uh, I don't really have a use for it. I don't like self-damage. If I can help it, it's killed me before. Um, many a times before. And if I can have a more safe build um, I would like that so let's 
activate that apparently, and that one, and do nothing else. Alright, are they all going to be out here? They are. Cool. Now we can bolt orb them. And at least do 50 damage. That's better than nothing, I guess. We do definitely need to get better at... Um, you know, these these Coven orbs are really bad when there's a lot of money on the field already. So we're going to try our hardest... To activate some bombs that's gonna help out a lot and then that is much much nicer um, now that the problem is we're probably not going to be able to activate any more bombs uh, uh, at least on this turn but we can work towards this guy uh, with the bouncy, maybe. Let's just do something like this. And hope for the best. <laughs> uh, shoot the shoot the orb near a lot of things and hope that it does something. Uh, is kind of a good strategy sometimes. Other times, it doesn't necessarily work. Okay, these guys are going to attack us for a bit, but... We can at least bomb. And then I can just hit this bomb, and we should win. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but that's fine. It's over. <laughs> we bombed. Uh, that is a little concerning, but it's fine. Uh, concentration. Splat orb makes the uh, pegs rubbery. And I guess... Let's go ahead and upgrade the Critter Ball, and I don't think we need to heal yet, so we're not going to. We are going to go fight a boss, though, so... Or not. Well, that's unfortunate. I got greedy with the gold, and we missed both of those items. That's a little unfortunate. Alright, well, it happens. So let's get these fights as quickly as we can. It looks like the windmills aren't actually more powerful, unless those didn't have as much health. I don't know. I don't remember. But... Decent damage. Uh, we're definitely not overpowered yet. We can go ahead and hit some bombs. And maybe make some more coins? Question marks? Nope. Okay. Alright, so the rub, re the rub orb should be pretty good. Um, because it's just going to bounce everywhere. It's probably going to take a little bit before it uh, falls. As long as it keeps some speed, it does good damage. And then finally we have a bold orb, so this should be pretty... Pretty easy. Once we hit this refresh, we get the crit. And that should be the fight. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely pretty close, anyways. I think we need to get the 300, and that should be good. Yep, cool. So we definitely need to heal. I uh, don't really care about this stuff. Uh, do we want to upgrade? Let's upgrade our rub orb. Um, fully and continue on so not too terrible I guess let's hit some coins we get four coins every time we hit those which is really nice uh, more money we can go to the shop and see if there's anything good there Ooh, a dark obelisk uh, obelisk obelisk it's just pronounced obelisk <sighs> Everything's orbs in this, but this is actually just an obelisk, and if I can read and speak English, that, that's what it is. So, um, Hums of Tantalizing Power. We are going to receive its power. Um, the power of the obelisk flows into you, coalescing as the new obelisk in your satchel, which is awesome. Such a great orb, uh, especially when you have a lot of stones, which we, we have quite a few, but 
Um, you just barely notice an elongated figure lurking in the shadows. You hear an oddly alluring voice in your head. So you crave power, little Peglin. Would you like to make a deal? You get a special relic, but it's half health. No thank you. Um, figure makes no movement to follow you, and you're out of the clearing in just a few seconds. Uh, though it takes much longer for the chill to leave your body. I don't know what that is, um, what they give you, but I don't want to end this. We've made it too far. I don't want to risk um, so little health. But what does Haglin have for us? Well, we could get another Orbalisk. Um, refresh stuff. Muse Circle. Shiv. Um... Crants all or we're hitting a lot of crits, so that's not those things are not really helping us too much. I think we're just gonna leave. Thank you, Haglin, but not necessary. Um, I would like to go to the right. I think. I think I would like to fight the no, maybe. Okay, we can. We can go to the right. Are you sure? Okay. We're going to go to the right because we can fight one of the mini bosses. Um, I'm going to try to go to the right from here, but we'll see. We can get Molten Gold. Battle start with extra gold. Or Aimer. Yeah, let's just get more more gold. And we're just going to go to the right. Um, three more spots. So, well, there's an extra spot. Extra question mark. And I want to fight the mini boss anyways. And it is the soldier dude. So that is not too terrible. Um fairly straightforward at least uh, and it looks like we're going to have our bold orb relatively early which is good um, we're going to have to deal with the magic and the arrows but that's fine so let's get all of this money and still haven't destroyed the shield which is a little unfortunate but you know what we're going to go for broke. We're going to get rid of that one. And Bold Orb, please do some work. Uh, I would love to hit that refresh. But at the very least, clearing it out so we can later is good enough. But that is 124 damage. That is pretty good, all things considered. And we're still taking some damage, but that's... Kind of whatever. Um, wasn't the best. Oh, I hate the mages. Okay, we're going to need to use some bombs. But this is not going well. We are taking a lot of damage. And they are not. I uh, need to hit that refresh, I think, more than anything. Yeah, we need to hit that refresh. We're gonna die. There is no saving this. Especially now. We're dead. Oh, man. That is unfortunate. But, that happens. So, we never really had anything super overpowered. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't find it. We had a lot of stuff with gold. And we never had anything that was super like strong with the crits. Um, we did unlock both the Inferno Orb and the Coban Orb. But that is unfortunately going to be it for today's episode. Um, still is a longer episode. But we're going to give that uh, Crucible uh, a try next time. And hopefully it goes better. Um, if need be, we'll go for broke and make a super broken build. Um, but it depends always on what you get. So that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!